Hi friends, how are you? So in this time I discuss about very most important topic. This topic is uh, crystal structure determination. Uh, Lewis method as stated in Van Lewis in Germany was the first to point out that since the X-ray wavelength were of the same order of magnitude as the spacing between the atoms in the crystal, the crystals could be used for diffractions and X-ray beam observations of the diffractions maxima and minima would therefore give an idea about the structure of the crystal okay and next topic X-ray wavelength were of the same order of magnitude as the spacing between the atoms in the crystal, the crystals would be used for diffractions and X-ray beam observations of the diffractions maxima and minima would therefore give an idea about the structures of the crystal. In Lewis method, a single crystal is exposed to a beam of continuous X-ray white radiation, usually in the range 0.2 to 2 armstrong, the beam is The beam is collimated by a fin hole and the diffraction beam is revealed on a flat plane placed, placed on the other side of the crystal. A, a relativity, a relatively small crystal dimension 1 nanometer may be used as stated previously the directions pattern consistence of a series of spots as chosen in this figure thus continuous x-ray are used in this case a given set of reflecting planes selects a wavelength satisfying the Bragg conditions of reflections 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda it is Bragg's law 2D sin theta is equal to n lambda. Lewis pattern in special suitable for checking the orientations of the crystals used in different types of experiments. This is due to the fact that the pattern producted uh, that the pattern reproductions the symmetry of the crystals in the orientations used for the experiment. Thus, for a cubic crystal with its body diagonal having threefold symmetry parallel to the directions of the culminated incident beam, the patterns will also show threefold symmetry. Next topic the advantages of this method are that it is, it is an easy method for obtaining equivalent. Equilibrative data on the reflections from a large number of planes simultaneously and hence in a, uh, is much less time consuming than the Bragg's method. There are, however, some disadvantages of the method also since continuous x ray are used a number of different wavelengths may be reflected from the same planes in different order so that wall diseases may be supposed on a single spot this makes the determinations of the reflected intensity in a given direction quite difficult next Briggs method in Briggs method monochromatic x-ray are reflected from a single crystals and maxima of the reflected beam are observed with the help and ionization number as the crystal plane is rotated in small steps the ionization chamber is turned through twist the angles at each at each steps and the ionization 
current is measured a function of the angle of reflection. The method developed by the Briggs is of importance mainly for the accuracy of intensity measurement. It is also possible to obtain very accurate value of sine theta by this method on uh, and hence of the dimensions of the unit cell. Its mean disadvantages is that it is extremely time consuming to take enough radiating for reflection from sufficient number of place of planes to yield magni uh, meaningfully information about the structures of the crystal. Next I discuss about powder photographic method. In both the above two methods single crystals with greater than microscopic dimensions have to be used. It is usually difficult to prepare absolutely uh, flameless single crystals in re relatively larger sized. Most crystalline substances are available in forms in which they are made up of a large number of minute crystals oriented at random to determine the crystal structure using such specimen to sweep physics. Next I talk about P Debe and P Square 1916 and independently the American physicist A. W. Hulley 1917 developed the power photographic method for determining the crystal structure. A monochromatic beam of X-ray is allowed to fall on the specimen which is in the form of finally ground powder. Keep inside a small tube. The powder is actually made up of a large number of micro crystals oriented at random. As a result, there is always a uh, substantial number of crystals which reflect the incident beam from a given family of importance planes in a particular direction. Suppose theta is the glassing angle at which such reflection takes place. The reflected rays from the different crystals with appropriate orientations will processed along a straight line laying on the curved surface of a cone of semi uh, semi vertical angle 2 theta. Due to reflections from a given set of plane, there will be a number of such cones corresponding to different order of reflection. This is reflected rays give reach to a series of concentric circulator lines on a photographic plate kept at right angles to the incident beam. Usually a photographic film cut into a rectangular strip and bent in the form of a cylinder is used to so that one gets a series of concentric circular ads. With this arrangement even those reflected rays for which 2 theta greater than 0, 2 theta, two theta greater than 90 degree can also be received on the film and examples of a debile sclear powder photograph is chosen in this figure you follow 70.25 it can be seen from the picture that future away from the central spot where direct beam hits this film the curvatures of the lines becomes less for theta is equal to 90 degree the lines becomes straight for theta greater than 90 degree the curvatures of the lines are rever uh, reversed 
for crystals with high symmetry and with smaller number of atoms per unit cell. The diffraction patterns are relatively simple. Powder photograph method is thus especially suitable for the analysis of the structures in the case of many metals and allows where the above. Okay, this diagram 17.24. It is 2 theta and it is powder and it is lines and it is incident beam and it is flame. Next, conditions are fulfilled. In these cases, powder photograph are often sufficient to stabilize the structure. In this method, a single crystal with sides about 1 mm in length it rotated about some crystal axis. A photographic film bent in the shape of a cylinder surrounds the crystals with its axis concluding, concluding with the axis of rotation. A beam of monochromatic X-ray is allowed to a fall on the crystals in a direction number to the variation axis as the crystals is rotated slowly the reflections from wall planes parallel to these axis lines in a plane normal to the axis of containing the incident beam this plane cuts the films in a circles which appears as a horizontal line where the films is unrolled the reflected spot lines on on this equilateral lines with also shows the spot from the direct beam. Each spot corresponds to reflections from a given set of HKL planes due to replaced rotations of the crystals. The intensities of the spots are enhanced considerably. The reflections from planes orientated differentially with respect to the axis of rotation product other sets of spot which apparts along lines parallel to the equatorial lines with uh, either about or below the latter the rotation photograph method uh, per minutes grades accuracy of crystal structure determinations uh, several improvement of the method were later introduced intensed of respective uh, intents of repeatedly rotating through a full circle the crystals is sometimes rocked back and forth through a limited range of angle this eliminates the possibility of the overlapping of the spot product by Reflections in this Wixenberg goniometers method. The film is rocket back and forth in cycro uh, sinochromanism with the crystals, which usually oscillates about the angle range of 18. <coughs> Next, I talk about. Anisotropy of the physical property of single crystal. The different physical properties of the single crystals, example elastics, deformations, electrical and thermal conductivity, electric and magnetic susceptibility, reflective index etc. are in general difference in different directions within the crystals as an example the ions modules of elasticity of a single crystal of zinc has the maximum and minima value 126 into 10 to the power 9 pascal and 6, 6 to the power 5 65 into 10 to the power 9 pascals along two different directions within the crystals shows a high degree of anisotropy some crystals exhibit anisotropy in some of the above properties while they may be isotropic with respect to certain other properties for 
instance in wall single crystals of the cubic types the velocity of light is the small in wall direction so since that the reflective index in isotropic in them on the other hand the elastic properties of such crystals are usually anisotropic single crystals is large sized are uh, difficult to grow unless special uh, unless special precisions are taken at the times of crystallizations in general the crystals is obtained as a allegro uh, uh, allo variations of a large number of minute single crystals in such a polycrystalline substances the small granules of the single crystals are oriented around at random hence their physical properties appears to be isotropic and 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 examples of the anisotropic behaviors of a single crystals we consider the electrical conductivity sigma of the crystal suppose an electric current i flows in a crystal under the influence of an external electric field e in general i will not be in the direction of e it is found that each component of i is a linear function of all the three component of e in rectangular coordinate system ix is equal to sigma xx ex plus sigma xy ey plus sigma xz ez iy is equal to sigma yx ex plus sigma yy ey plus sigma yz ez iz is equal to sigma zx ex plus sigma zy ey plus sigma zz ez the nine coefficient sigma ix represent the component of the conductivity tensor each of the incident i and k can be x y z the conductivity tensor is an examples of a tensor of the second rank it is actually a symmetric tensor so that sigma ik is equal to sigma ki such a tensor has six components in stand of nine in each crystalline substance there are three special directions known as the principal axis with reflex reference to which the equation can be transformed as follow ix is equal to sigma 1 ex iy is equal to sigma 2 ey iz is equal to sigma 3 ez the three coefficient sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 are known as the principal conductivity is the conductivity of a crystal is usually expressed in terms of the three principal conductivities their reciprocals are known as the principal uh, resistivities row 1 is equal to 1 by sigma 1 row 2 is equal to 1 by sigma 2 row 3 is equal to 1 by sigma 3 if the electric field e act along any on the principal axis then the current i has the directions of e and as an examples if e is along x so that x is equal to e x uh, e is equal to e x then uh, i is equal to i x is equal to sigma 1 e x while i x i y is equal to i z is equal to 0 so the current is along the x axis in this case for a cubic crystal sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 is equal to sigma 3 so that row 1 is equal to row 2 is equal to row 3 in this case row has the same value in world directions in some crystals examples in a hexagonal crystals two of the principal resistivities row 1 row 2 row 3 are equal in this case the resistivity along a directions making an angle phi with the hexagonal axis depends on phi only and is given by rho phi is equal to rho s sin square phi plus rho p uh, sin square phi if rho p greater than rho s as in the zinc crystals rho is equal to rho p has and has the highest value along the hexagonal axis phi is equal to zero and lowest value rho is equal to rho is at right angle to it phi is equal to pi by two next i talk about <coughs> specific heats of solids 
next i talk about specific heats of solid we have seen that in a crystalline solid the atoms of groups of atoms are arranged in a regular three dimensional lattice however the atoms are not stationary but vibrate about their mean positions of rest at the lattice side thus each of them the, uh, does each of them behaves like a harmonic oscillator see theoretical physics next i talk about considering a one dimensional array of n atoms vibrating harmonically about their respective means positions of rest in can it can be chosen that their total vibration energy is equal to the total energy of a linear harmonic oscillator in a three dimensional arrangement of n atoms the total vibrational energy is equal to that of 3n linear harmonic oscillator so when the heat energy is applied to the substances like total energy is changed which can be calculated theoretical summing suitable models from such calculators it is possible to develop the theory of the specific heat of solid okay next i talk about classical theory and its limitation the total vibrational energy of a linear harmonic oscillator of mean of mass m vibrating with the angular frequency omega is e is equal to ek plus b is equal to p square by 2m plus half of m omega square q square where ek and b are the kinetic ek is kinetic and b is potential energies respectively q and the p are the displacement and the linear momentums of the oscillators it can be chosen from classical statical mechanics that such an oscillator has the mean t energy at the absolute temperature t given by e is equal to in close uh, integration zero to infinite e except e experiment uh, minus e by kt de by integration zero to infinite x um, minus e by kt pe is equal to kt for the three dimensional motion this becomes e is equal to 3 kt where k is value is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per k k is the boltzmann constant from equation okay e is equal to 3 kt it can be seen that the means energy e is independent of the frequency of vibrations of the oscillator so for n oscillators the total energy is u is equal to 3 n kt for one moles of a substances n is equal to n not <laughs> avogadro's number if the volumes of the crystals is assumed to remains unchanged then the molar specific heat of the substances comes out to be cv is equal to du by dt v in is equal to 3 n not k is equal to 3 r is equal to constant r is equal to n not k is equal to 8.314 joule per mole per k and cv is equal to 5.96 k cal per degree per mole <coughs> next topic in uh, 17.125 okay this equation is cv is equal to du by dt into v uh, is equal to whole v uh, is equal to 3 n not k is equal to 3 r is equal to constant okay in is now as dulong petit's law okay dulong petit's law which had been discovered as an empirical law by these two scientist in 1819 thus the law is obeyed at higher temperature it fails completely at a very low temperature experimental observations shows that cv decreases with 
decrease temperature at very low temperature. Einstein theory of specific heat. Albert Einstein was the first to explain the decrease of the specific heat of solid at low temperatures on the basis of then newly discovered quantum theory 1905. The underlining assumption of Einstein's theory is that the crystals can be represented by 3N linear harmonic oscillators where n is the number of atoms in the crystals according to this model the atoms are assumed to vibrate independently of each other future instant of using okay it is 17.1222 this is e is equal to integration 0 to infinite e ex uh, exp minus e by kt de by uh, integration 0 to infinite exp minus e by kt de is equal to kt okay this is for the means energy of the oscillator deduced one the basics the classical statics he used the exp experience for the mean energy okay 3.3 .3 to 3 okay and next topic and next topic reduce the plank on the basics of quantum theory e is equal to h by mu by exp h experiment by h mu by kt minus 1 is equal to h cut omega H cut is Planck constant 6.64 into 10 to the minus 34 joule second this value by exp by H cut omega by kt minus 1 okay as we saw in chapter 3 the above experience for E was re deduced or deduced by assuming the energy of the linear harmonic oscillators to the given by En is equal to uh, e n H cut omega this was Planck original formulations of the quantum theory. Later, the experience for En was modified by quantum mechanics. Okay, according to which En is equal to n plus one by two h cut omega, as n can take up the value zero, one, two, three. The mean energy E of the oscillators come out to be slightly different from the given above, as in it is e is, uh, e is equal to a summation of n n plus 1 by 2 h cut omega x experience minus n plus 1 by 2 h cut omega by k2 by uh, summation of n exp minus n plus 1 by 2 h cut omega by k2 <coughs> next topic x is equal to minus h cut omega by kt we get e is equal to h cut omega if summation of n n plus 1 by 2 exp n plus 1 by 2 x by summation of um, n exp n plus 1 by n 1 by 2 x okay n plus 1 by 2 into x next uh, h cut omega um, into half of exp by x by 2 plus uh, 3 by 2 exp 3x by 2 plus 5 by 2 exp 5x by 2 plus dot 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 exp by x by 2 plus exp 3x by 2 plus exp 5x by 2 next h cut by omega d by dx in exp x by 2 1 plus exp x plus exp 2x next is equal to h cut omega into d by dx x by 2 plus d by dx in x1 minus exp x inverse 1 and h cut by omega half of minus d by dx in 1 minus exp x h cut omega 1 by 2 plus exp x by 1 minus exp x is equal to h cut omega 1 by 2 plus 1 by exp x minus 1 uh, e is equal to h cut omega half of plus 1 by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 this includes the zero points energy of the oscillator h cut omega by 2 the second terms in the experience for e depends on the frequency musical to omega by 2 pi 
of the oscillators for one moles of the solid contained in not atoms the total in total energy becomes u is equal to 3 n not e is equal to 3 n not h cut omega by 2 plus 3 n not h cut omega by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 the total molar specific heat is cv is equal to du by dtv is equal to 3 n not into h cut omega by exp h cut omega by k2 minus 1 third square into h cut omega by kt square exp h cut omega by kt 3r h cut omega by kt the square and except a h cut omega by kt by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 third square since the first terms in this equation okay u is equal to 3 n naught e is equal to 3 n naught h cut omega by 2 plus 3 n naught h cut omega by exp uh, h cut omega by kt minus 1 okay is independence of temperatures is does not contribute to the specific heat cv okay and this equation cv is equal to 3 r h cut omega by kt third square into exp h cut omega by kt by exp h cut omega by k2 minus 1 third square okay cv is the same and uh, as would be obtained by using Planck's experience of uh, E. Okay, next, uh, so since that CV decreases with the decrease of temperature T uh, at uh, higher temperature when KT get much much greater than uh, H cut omega, so that H cut omega by KT less than much much less than 1, we get X, exp H cut omega by KT is approximately 1 plus H cut omega by KT. Okay, next topic. Uh, here, uh, hence, we have CV is equal to 3R H cut omega by KT, that is called exp H cut omega by KT by H cut omega by KT, that is square. Uh, CV is equal to 3R into 1 plus h cut omega by kt plus uh, it is 3r okay thus the higher temperature Einstein's theory gives a result in arrangement with uh, Dulang's Peters law okay Dulang Peters law if we write h cut omega is equal to k te then the Einstein's temperature t is given by t is equal to h cut omega by k we can rewrite it is <coughs> this equation okay it is cv is equal to 3r h cut omega by kt third square uh, whole square into exp h cut omega by kt by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 to the power o e square okay and next topic um, this is okay uh, if cv by 3r cv by 3r is equal to te by t to the power square if he te by t uh, here if he te by t uh, known as the Einstein function is given by if he te by t is equal to exp te by t by exp te by t minus 1 to the square uh, as t decrease if he decrease and goes to 0 as t tends to 0 at very low temperature te by t get much much uh, greater than one so that we have a uh, te by t approximately exp te by t by e exp te by t square is equal to exp minus uh, te by t tends to zero uh, as t tends to zero does at very low temperature if it decrease exponential with decrease t and hence tv given by this equation cv by 3r is equal to te by t square f e t e by t okay uh, also falls of uh, almost expand exponentially with decreasing t however the experimental value of cv are found to decrease much more uh, slowly with decrease t small circles okay mm, this topic and next seven point to seven and uh, next topic does uh, does uh, through the decrease of cv with decrease of t can be explained equivalently by Einstein theory there is no 
quantitative arrangement between theory and experiment at low, uh, low temperature uh, uh, e, uh, te can be calculated if the number vibrational frequency omega is known so omega uh, can be found if the atomic mass and uh, the elastic constant are known te approximately 100 to 200 k for metallic element uh, transitions from low to high temperature be behavior should uh, occurs in this temperature range next i talk about debate theory of specific heat okay it is device theory of specific heat as she has seen uh, above the prim uh, primary uh, assumptions of Einstein theory was that all the atoms in the crystals vibrate with the same frequency independently of each other full debate in 1912 pointed uh, out that these assumptions cannot cannot be correct because there are strong interatomic forces between the atoms at the different lattice sites so that the vibrations of any one of the atoms strongly influence the vibrations of its neighboring atoms. So, Debe uh, proposed that instead of uh, considering the independent vibrations of the individual atoms, it was necessary to consider the vibrational modes of the entire crystal the strong uh, interaction uh, between the neighboring atoms in the crystals transmit transmit the vibrations of any one atoms to the other throughout the crystals and the collect collective motions in the nature of an elastic were involving Mm, all the atoms is excited within the crystal such uh, collective motions is known as the normal mode of a lattice the, the number of normal mode is equal to the number of the degree of freedom 3n and n is the number of atoms thus in the in an actual crystals the atoms are arranged in a regular patterns as deserted mass points with finite distance in between in Debye's theory the crystals is assumed to be a continuous medium through which stationary waves of different frequency which constitute the normal mode of the crystals are propagated with the velocity of elastic wave sound waves in the medium as and uh, analogy we may consider the one dimensional wave uh, propagation in an elastic stretch of length l with regardingly as a fixed ends considering the stretch to be a continuous medium we write down the differential equations for the wave propagations as d2y by dx square is equal to 1 by v square d square y by dt square where y is the displacement of the stress at some points x at the instant t okay and v is the velocity of propagations of a elastic waves in the stretch the uh, solution solutions constant uh, with the boundary conditions y is equal to 0 x equal to 0 x equal to n is y n is equal to sin n pi x by l a n cos omega t plus b n sin omega t omega n t where n is a positive integer n greater than 0 and the wavelength and the frequencies of the vibrations for the nth mode of vibrations are given by lambda n is equal to 2l by n and vn is equal to omega n by 2 pi is equal to omega uh, mu by lambda n is equal to n mu by 2l uh, thus the stretch thus the strain can vibrate in different number of segment corresponding to the difference mode n since n is equal to 2 uh, h uh, 2a uh, uh, since um, difference mode n since n is equal to 2 lb by mu 
we have the number of the mode of vibrations in the frequency range v plus v plus dv dn is equal to 12 by uh, mu dv uh, similarly if we consider the propagations of elastic switch in a three dimensional uh, continuous medium assumed to be in the shape of a cube of side l and positive modes of vibrations are determined by a set of three positive integer n1 n2 n3 where are uh, where are related by the equations n square 1 plus n square 2 plus n square 3 uh, pi square by n square is equal to 4 pi square v square by mu square a similar equation for uh, deduce uh, in co con connections with the derivations of uh, relate jen's law okay realize which is jen's uh, law for black body radiations okay and it may be noted that in the above equations the velocity mu uh, v of the elastic uh, wave which propagations in the crystalline mediums has replaced the velocity c of electromagnetic wave propagations within a cavity in, uh, in the uh, analogy with equations okay the number of the normal mode of the vibrations within the angular frequency range omega to omega plus d omega in the present case is given by z omega d omega is equal to v by 2 pi square v square omega square d omega where v is equal to l cube uh, is the volume of the cube in the crystals two types of elastic wave longitudinal and transverse can be propagated with the uh, uh, with the respective velocities bl and v uh, vt okay uh, beside there are two mutually uh, mutually perpendicular directions point of the vibrations for the transverse wave hence for a crystalline medium okay has to be replaced uh, by the following equation z omega d omega is equal to v by 2 pi square 1 by uh, v square l plus uh, 2 by v v cube uh, 1 uh, z omega d omega is equal to v by which is 2 pi square into uh, 1 by v l cube plus uh, 2 by v cube uh, v cube f okay omega square d omega and next in a continuous medium the number of possible the number of possible mode of vibrations is infinite d by assume that in a crystal with in not atoms the number of uh, normal mode of vibrations is finite equal to 3 in not uh, here the hence the frequency here the frequency spectrum corresponding to a perfect continuous has to be cut off some upper uh, upper limit upper limit omega is equal to omega uh, m so as to be uh, cons uh, consistence uh, consistence with the finite number 3 and not of the mode of vibration the maximum dv angular frequency omega n can be calculated for the uh, relations uh, integration 0 to omega m z omega uh, d omega is equal to v by 2 pi square 1 by uh, v cube l plus 2 by v cube uh, v cube l and integration 0 to omega m uh, omega square d omega is equal to 3 and not uh, v by 2 pi square 1 uh, v by 2 pi square into 1 by uh, v l omega uh, 1 by v cube l plus 2 by v cube t into omega cube m by 3 is equal to 3 and not omega cube m is equal to uh, 18 pi square n not by v into 1 by uh, v cube l plus 2 by uh, v cube t in verse 1 uh, it is assumed assumed here that v l and vt are independent of the wavelength using the quantum mechanics experience for the mean energy of the oscillators we that 
uh, we uh, then get the total energy of vibrations for the whole crystals as u is equal to integration 0 to omega m z omega uh, omega d omega is equal to v by 2 pi square 1 by v cube l plus 2 by v cube t uh, integration 0 to omega m omega is equal to d omega h cut omega by 2 plus h cut omega by exp h, h cut omega by kt minus 1 9 by n naught by omega cube m into a h cut omega 4 m by 8 uh, plus integration 0 to omega m <coughs> h cut omega cube d omega by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 okay it is 9 n naught okay and it is omega cube m and omega to the power 4 uh, m it is vanish okay and uh, next uh, h cut omega m by 8 plus 1 by omega cube m integration 0 to omega m h cut omega cube d omega by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 okay this uh, first terms on the rh s is equation okay uh, arise out of the contribution uh, from the zero point energy of the oscillator since it is independent of t is does not contribute anything to cv okay it is b u is equal to uh, 9 n naught h cut omega m by 8 plus 1 by omega cube m uh, integration 0 to omega m h cut omega 3 d omega by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 okay and next topic uh, right ring x equal to h cut omega by kt x m is equal to h cut omega m by kt we get uh, from uh, by distribution cv is equal to du by tt v in is equal to 9 n naught by omega cube m integration 0 to omega m h cut omega h cut omega by kt exp h cut omega by kt d omega by exp h cut omega by kt minus 1 to the power square and 9 n naught by omega cube m uh, integration 0 to xm h cut square by kt square uh, kt by h cut uh, to the power 5 x to the power 4 exp x dx by exp x minus 1 that is square uh, 3d r into 3 t by t t d cube integration 0 to x m x over 4 e x p x dx by e x p x minus 1 to square uh, here we have written uh, the debate temperature t d as t d is equal to h cut omega m by k uh, the uh, integrals in this equation uh, is a function of x m is equal to h cut omega m by k t is equal to t d by t mm, hence uh, hence we get c v is equal to 3 r f d by f d into t d by t c v is equal to 3 r f d t d by t uh, here the d by function f d is given by f d into t d by t is equal to 3 into t by t d uh, cube t d by t uh, integration 0 to td by t uh, x to the power 4 x p x by x p uh, x minus 1 square d x uh, cannot be integrated in finite terms uh, t d is determined by uh, numeral integrations for uh, numeral integrations for difference value of x m uh, from which the value of c v for difference temperature are obtained there are solutions which are graphically in this equation we get after integrating by parts indication 0 to xm x to the power 4 exp uh, x dx by exp x minus 1 to square is equal to minus x to the power 4 by exp x minus 1 0 to xm plus 4 0 to xm x to the cube uh, dx by exp x minus 1 is equal to 4 into 0 to xm x cube dx by exp x minus 1 minus xm to the power 4 by exp xm minus 1 and uh, hence we get this is cv is equal to 3r into 3 by 
x m cube into 4 into 0 to x m x cube dx by e x p x minus 1 minus x m to 4 by e x p x m minus 1 next 3 r 12 by x cube m mm, mm, integration 0 to x m x cube dx by e x p x minus 1 minus 3 x m by e x p x m minus 1 <coughs> next it is aluminium into copper graph okay t k versus cv and t k versus cv uh, cv versus t for wall uh, uh, t d is equal to 396 k and cu uh, copper t d is equal to uh, 309 k in units of 3 r after d by we now consider equation 17.14 to 12 for the uh, two limiting cases of high and low temperature for t much much greater than td if omega m is such that h cut omega m less less than much much less than kt then xm is equal to h cut omega m by kt uh, much much less than one one so obviously in this case x equal to h cut omega by kt much much less than one and so since omega less than omega m so we have uh, exp express x minus one uh, approximately x except exp xm minus one approximately xm cv is equal to 3r uh, 12 by x cube m uh, integration 0 to xm x cube dx by x minus 3 xm by xm 3r into 12 by x cube m into x cube m by 3 minus 3 is equal to 3r this result is uh, is uh, is in arrangement with Dulang uh, Petty's law for t less than uh, much much less than td in this case xm much much greater than 1 so we have for xm tends to infinite Equation 3 xm by exp xm minus 1 approximately 3 uh, xm exp minus xm tends to 0 and against 0 to uh, uh, integration uh, 0 to xm x cube by dx exp x uh, minus 1 is equal to 0 to a, uh, xm uh, it is uh, x cube exp minus x into 1 minus exp minus x to the power minus 1 dx and 0 to xm x cube x exp minus x 1 plus exp minus x plus exp minus 2x plus dot dot dx and limit x tends to uh, xm tends to infinite 0 to xm x cube dx by exp x minus 1 integration 0 to infinite x cube exp minus x plus exp minus 2x plus uh, dot 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 dx and summation of n is equal to 1 in uh, to infinite and um, integration 0 to infinite x cube exp minus nx dx uh, so if but if r is an integral then 0 to infinite x r exp minus nx dx is equal to r factorial by n to the power r plus 1 okay uh, hence 0 to infinite x cube exp minus nx dx is equal to 6 by x to n to the power 4 okay and summation of n is equal to 1 infinite 1 by n to the power 4 is equal to uh, pi to the power 4 okay by 990 uh, hence we get summation of n is equal to 1 infinite 0 to infinite x cube exp minus x dx is equal to uh, 6 pi to the power 4 by 90 is equal to pi to the power 4 by 15 so we have a low temperature c b is equal to 3 r into 12 by x cube m into uh, 0 to infinite x cube by x cube dx by exp x minus 1 uh, is equal to 3r into uh, 12 by uh, xm cube into uh, into uh, pi to the power 4 pi 15 next topic uh, next topic it is cb is equal to 3r into uh, pi to the power 4 uh, uh, th cv is equal to 3r into 4 pi to the power 4 by 5 into t by td to cube and thus at very low temperature cv uh, 
uh, infinite t cube uh, this is known as device t cube's law according to the cv to 0 t tends to 0 device t cube's law has been verified experimentally for various mathematicals uh, it will be seen uh, that the arrangement between the theoretical and experimental value of cv for copper is uh, fairly good this is also true for other metals according to equations uh, 3 root of cv by t should be a constant this is found to be approximately true in the cases of calco calcium uh, fluoride as can be checked from uh, checks from uh, column 3 okay this table and thus device theory has been generally successful in experimenting expl explaining um, and the uh, observed variations of CV at low temperature derivations are observed in some cases when uh, compressions are made with a uh, very accurately measured value according to device theory uh, the T cubes law should be valid for temperature T less than 0 0.1 TD however this is not always the cases uh, as can be seen this table okay the value of TD uh, determined uh, from the measured value of CV using device uh, formula and listened in the table okay are found to difference some hot a different temperature according to device theory td uh, td should be the same for wall temperature okay uh, tk and cv joule pi k uh, mole okay root of 3 uh, 3 root cv by t uh, 17.5 0 0.067 0 0 0.0 0 2 3 2 and 19.9 .9, 0 0.1 0 2 8 0 0.0 2 3 6 and 21.9 0 0.1 3 1 6 and 0 0.0 2 3 7 and 23.5 0 0.1 6 8 0 0 0.0 2 3 5 25.6 0 0.2 1 8 0 0 0.0 2 3 5 27.6 0 0.2 7 6 0 0 0.0 236 and 29.1 0.33 10 this value okay and next i talk about and next i talk about which nscl and K kcl okay sodium chloride and potassium chloride tk and tdk value and tk and td value okay 20 uh, 288 288 and 15 297 10 308 and kcl it is tk is equal to 14 and tdk 213 8 and 222 4 236 3 227 the main limitations of device theory is the assumptions um, that a solid that a solid um, behaves like a continuous mediums in which the elastic waves are set up the cannot be a valid assumption especially at high frequency since the solid is composed of atoms separated in space okay we can estimate vm the part of frequency used in device theory since n not by v to the power 10 to the power 28 atoms per m cube and the velocity of the elastic wave v approximately 10 cube meter per seconds we get v cube m is approximately 10 to the power 38 and vm is equal to omega m by 2 pi is equal to 10 to the power 12 to 10 to the power 13 hertz the gives a wavelength lambda m is equal to v by vm approximately 10 to the power cube by uh, 10 to the power 13 
is equal to 10 to the minus 10 meter is equal to 1 angstrom thus lambda m uh, is of the same order as the atomic spacing within a crystal so the assumptions of a uh, continuous medium cannot be valid at such frequencies the relationship between the frequency and the wave number dispersions relation so uh, considerable so the dispersions at high uh, at high uh, frequency because of the above reasons because of the assumed reasons where in device theory no uh, such dispersions is uh, assumed up to the cut of frequency vm thus one has to uh, uh, take into account the dependence of the velocity of the elastic waves on uh, on on the wavelength which could modify device formula uh, a modifications of device theory was introduced introduced by max born who proposed a difference cut of um, product yeah, procedures according to born uh, uh, this should be based on a common minimum cut of wavelength for the longitudinal and uh, and transverse uh, this would make vm different for those two types of um, waves so that a that the device temperatures and uh, and designs the device functions for uh, for for uh, this would be different the experience uh, for cb would uh, then involves the sum of the two functions such a uh, produ producers is in lines with the theory of lattice vibrations developed by bonds and von Karman. okay again in device theory a solid is, is regulated as, as isotopic however however and discuss okay uh, crystalline solid sozen mark uh, astro types is the many of its physical properties does the velocity of the elastic wave as usually different in different direction stator uh, has discussed this and has chosen how the theory should be modified because of such variation okay next i talk about phenon thank you take care goodbye